Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Battlefleet Armada 2 Endless Swarm. With me, Dinox. When we last left off, we have invaded the Scarus system. The Scarus sector. Eh, well, yes, we, I know we left the Eldari over here in this system over this way, Sanctuary. And they're sort of doing their thing here. But that's fine, because we can jump in from any time with our, big, our fleet to take them. Secondly, in a few more turns, they'll be hit, they'll be punched by the um, expedition fleet. Our own fleet. And if I decide to ignore them still, they'll be punched by the, they'll just have their systems taken, stolen. And that's when in the turn. Again, I can just dive bomb into that system and take it when I want. Yeah, there's not a lot of systems in the kind of... Hmm. They're reinforcing a little bit? The Orcs are doing a lot because they have 12 points in the system. Again, they're invading the Imperium, that's fine, that weakens it for me. Boom, 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 boom. Some of these systems are... Well, actually, a lot of these systems are now working on their assault fleets. I don't think I'm going to take a lot of the Orc systems, though this one's going to actually reduce its numbers. Which is going to be bad, because I'm going to then jump in and steal it. Even if... Okay, even if this doesn't win, if the Orcs weaken them enough, the invasion fleet will simply take them. Now, I need to steal three systems before I get system control down to this orcs are reduced by a little bit and the and we get more biomass. That's a planetary nest. That might be nice. I'm gonna sneeze. You know feeling Yeah, <sighs> that feeling when you just like feel it coming on. Can't do anything that was a stop it either, it's just like gonna come. Well, if we take this one, we get rid of the natural biotoxin thing and our troop regeneration goes back up. Ulant is the actual mission we want to take. And we actually do not mind waiting until that's getting like close to the wire before we take it, because it buys us a lot more time. And time is something we need. Also, we need to put this on. Cosmic tethers. Cool. Cosmic tethers, cosmic tethers. High grade bioplasma. Living acid. Yeah, that's a good one to get your hands on. Cause death shrieks. Expand of spores. Cosmic tethers. Oh, that's why I get my ships upgraded to a little. Get my ship speed up and speed up. That's handy. I do like these though. Because one, their range increases. Two, we have these things. Which are not yet got them because we need to find the worlds, all the worlds that have it. See, I can give myself armor. Which will stop protection from bombers. But I can also make these. Improve these so they have a really nasty. These so have a really nasty. Um, wow. Yeah, pyro acids. You get the critical thing on them. They inflict troop damage. So if you got a ship that does literally does nothing but pyro acid cannons. Damn. All right. Let's take harvest. Cause that's. Or go for Skyrim. Actually, I can take both Sky Skyrim and Harvest. Yeah, it's 
he's doing the awakening gene stealer cult, but he's done his. So I can from Medusa take you my next uh, IS fleet when I can remember to switch you over to the right battle right fleet commander. Flagship. I keep forgetting to do that. These are fun pyro bat pyro bat acid battery batteries and tentacles. I would rather the tentacles be like 180 on them so they can hit for, or they fire like tendrils out there when they get too close and they start damaging the ships. I don't know something. Anything. Regardless, you're going to attack. See I can attack Fraxus Primus. Primaris. Quince, Mordax Prime, if I want to. Hexen. There's no end. I can technically move there and attack Harvest by somebody teleporting to here and then moving over. That's the funny thing. Boop. Yeah, also a tourist fleet popped out of the ether. You two join that. I mean, technically, I have more points anyway. I mean, actually, I could probably take Ulant. Hmm. I mean, it's guaranteed victory if I use both fleets. Guaranteed with the victory. But I get less renown. Because I've got. It was a, such a massively overpowered fleet. I mean, half is getting one fleet to fight him. That's neither here nor there. But it's whether I take the 5, 6, 5, 50, 60, or do I take Ulant as well at the same time? And just have that one. I'm actually going to let the um, fleet try to see what the Vanguard fleet does first. They're about to be attacked. And I would rather them attack, throw the punch, them for a punch first, and then steal the the planet when it's weakened. We'll deal the harvest fight first. I haven't decided what to do then. Ooh, battle plans. I like battle plans. The theory don't generate them naturally. The Necron didn't do. M See, the Necron had tons of the things. I got a stage where I could just end invasion fleets on the dot because I had so many battle plans with the Necron and the Imperials. Well, the Imperials had a thing where they actually just made the things. They generated them naturally. For the Necrons, they also generated them naturally, more naturally. They also had the gate system which allowed them to just attack systems all over the place jump to any system. They only move two, but they also have the Vanguard trick which lets them Ooh, big skull in the background. But which they have the Vanguard trick which lets them just, you know, jump in from anywhere and steal a ship. And attack the planet. It's too spread out. Yeah, it's so spread out that range. It's better fire when it's closer because it'll it's probably not the asteroids to be honest. But yeah, we get into Yep. Yeah, it's gonna poof. The nebulous is gonna poof. Yep, fire's coming back because we can't the enemy see them. Seized a strategic area. There we go for the left. 
All right. That's why we're still going forward. That little ping radar should reveal if they're going this way or not. So either going for this one, this one, middle, or this one here. Well, the targets are the targets. Found you. <coughs> gotcha. I know people complain about my frog clearing. Where am I also though? Cruisers, free cruisers, all the gold. At this range, it's a lot nastier to use that. You have seized a strategic area. So my friend just wants, wants to clear. That's a lot of axle actions. The enemy has seized a strategic area. And we'll brace for impact. Deck wrecked. Oh, he got the plan now. He's losing troopers left, right, and centre. I'll put you in there as well. Orc ships have a lot of health. But... Therein lies their problem. A lot of health, but not a lot of troop morale. Wait, the only one that has that one has got the ability to shoot. Aim for it. On the other hand, the tentacles will soon become online. And he's still got that. Deck destroyed, weapon damaged. Now they're technically using him as a barricade to protect them from me. Morning sacks, get my these back up. See, technically, as I see, fighting right now. So I have my folks wants to clear itself. Uh, well, let's just talk him because it keeps every troop action reduces their power down. Taking a lot of pelting on you. Yeah, they're going, they're going hell hog for trying to kill you off. I might lose that ship. Yep, it was. They f essentially focus fired. Well, 
Oh, your body function is depleted. Oops. There we go, mutiny as well. That's a shame. Oh, we all said that without losing any ships, but they really, I didn't con notice how much we were concentrating fire on that one ship. On that one cruiser. They literally focus fired one cruiser. And that's the thing with the Tyranids. They're, um, uh, ships. A little more squishy. Granted, you can absolutely destroy... As you notice, I had that orc crew, that big orc cruiser got knocked out into a drifting hulk pretty quickly. Oh no, it wasn't a big cruiser, it was a light cruiser. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, it's very rare you get escort ships actually survive long enough to get to level 3. Still, I could do without that loss, but... Harvest is mine. Ooh, we have a planetoid nest here. Here what? Planetoid nest. We'll take it. We'll have it. It's a nice thing to grab. It's a little biomass thing, yes. But, you know, that's fine. Now, I was a 450 and I still I lost a ship. Hmm. I mean, technically I've reduced the, da reduced the orcs a bit. I'll have a turn for the Vol can invade while I can move my fleet to intercept. So you know what? I'd rather take be overwhelming in battle. Oh nice. I'd rather be overwhelming in numbers than try to get more renowned faster by taking a sword by punching try to fight an even fight. Because orcs are f much more heavily armoured than us in the front. I mean, against Necron it was easy because they just literally teleported behind them. Again, I'd like some more designs for the Tyranid ships. I mean, they're nice ships, and they're not too bad design, but... Why is it damaged? Hmm. Why are you damaged, I wonder? We don't do... Bad of going through f things anyway. Ah. Also, this will have two lots of fighters. It seems weird, but we're actually going for them first. Well, again, they're optional, and that's not really important. Yeah, such a widespread, they're never going to really catch them, to be honest. See, that on technical ships is fine, because it punches out ahead of them. It hits hard. Uh-huh, entering cloudy zone. So they're going to go invisible for a bit. I'm going to call the squad back, because they can't do anything right now. On the other hand, it resets the time of these beautifully. So, yeah, cooldown of these I was reduced. And my throat's gone really tickly. They're not 
know the cruisers, they can't hide in the smoke. These are light cruisers, so they're faster than my main cruiser. But he's a little bit there get first. He also bites. Nom 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 nom. Now at this range, the um, torpedoes are a little more concentrated. Ships are still stealth, so no, no one else. Forget about that guy. Target this one. He can't shoot the guy behind him. Harder, but the in the same essence, they're also weaker. Oh yeah, scream! You can still keep firing him. <coughs> Something is really aggravating my throat. I don't know what. <laughs> They're grabbing behind them. But they can't get. They can't stop them. doing that at all costs. Oh, we are just cruelty, cruelly, cruelly just <coughs> hitting him without a thousand call to arms. the evolution thing, so you know, taking out the optional targets, but we got the main targets. And didn't lose a ship, any ships. Yeah, you get those biter chompers behind you, like those orcs did, and they're done for. They can't move fast, they can't move fast enough to get away from them. So they just keep biting on the part which they can't get shot. Well, they can't get shot. 
Ooh. I wish my new one was aggravating my throat so much. But, me. Yeah. If I get these guys improved, that'd be great. Level 4s. Some level 3s, but no level 4s. Their morale dies horribly and quickly. I'm going to leave it a turn before I go healing them. I can move these guys to protect this one if need to, if need be. So that's that. Oh, and you? Hatch world, no. Let's get some more cash in. So yeah, we got Ulant, who can be taken in three turns. Or next turn if I want to. We've conquered nearly a fifth of the planet. It'd be a third if there were 15 of them. So we're nearly a third of the planets of the system. They might just get caught, captured by the fleet, by the Vanguard fleet. If I can get to seven. Boop. Nothing going on in that system as usual. Nothing in this system as usual. Nope. Nada. Even Talent Calamon not doing much. Now they are creating stuff there. You also attack the Imperium. Ooh, they won. Well, I'll be darned. I can come back to attack this system whenever I feel like it. That's the fun thing. About its current, about its current um, situation, I can jump back to attack that system when I feel like doing so. Hmm. Ibram is so weak right now. As is Goldrun, Gun, Goodrun. They're both weak. Now I can use the bounce, and I can bounce from here to get back to the system quick enough. There's a few places where I can do it. That's a lot of stuff here. Sorry, something's really dried up my throat. Reduce, reduce, reduce. So I could leave Ulant alone for a little bit. I mean, we are still starting to produce the um, big things to attack him. I mean, we took if we took out Fraxus Primus, Primaris here, and then. Attack Goodrun here while it's still down, still weakened. I've got the ships for it. I really do have the ships for it. I can buy a new ship right now and put you back up to high numbers again. But yeah, okay, that might be the plan. We'll leave him alone for a little bit. We'll take out Fraxin Primus in the middle. I can have a 125, so that's the best is a light cruiser. <coughs> uh, hold on, if I get rid of you, uh, I get another 48. I can get a 73 now. Which means I can grab one of these 69ers. Yes. That's also the reason why escort ships don't last very long. 
they tend to go rid of for um, bigger ships. So I can pull these two. Okay. I can take Frexus Primus, Primaris, with one move from anywhere. Launch two here and here, or I can do a skip jump to get Im Imbrim, which leaves this alone for the fleet to take. Well, take good run now while it's weakened still. Cause I've got one fleet, and we've seen four. One fleet does not a four. 400s do not stand well against 600s. If I take Primaris, then. Yeah. You know what? Let's play that one. <coughs> I'll take Primaris. And we'll attack Goodrun while he's weakened. Yeah, the Vanguard of Salty Fleets are still growing, so... In two turns... He'll be attacked. I can get to him, so no point bowling that one anymore. I'll go let the fleet attack this one. If the Imperials won it. Uh, we'll just leave this. There are no Imperials left in the system. But yeah, we take these two. Fortress World. Right, so this will actually team this will actually drop them to eleven now automatically. That's fine. It's also got a lot of worlds on it. And if we Ooh, and he's got the jet propulsion upgrade on him. Oh, nice. So yeah, we'll take these systems. And then we just need to take that, and we can hook these two up. Hook these up. Otherwise, this guy's got to run around on his own with whatever he gets. <coughs> so, when we come back, folks... We're taking out a few. We're going for some battles here. We're taking a few tactical battles here. If we claim them, and I have no doubt in my mind we will claim them, we will snag and practically cut the orc invasion in half. So until then, folks. Until then, I'll catch you all later. See ya.